Xbox is a huge brand and that means it gets its own credit card. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your time with me today. And today we are going to do a credit card review of sorts because full disclosure, I don't have this credit card. Uh, I actually don't know a lot of people who are even aware it exists, which is kind of what inspired me to come and talk about it, if you will. But Barclays, one of the major credit card companies, and they're kind of a prestige credit card company. They do things like the Barnes & Noble credit card and things like that. But you have to have like a 700 FICO score or more to get one of these cards. They don't like to advertise themselves to people with mid-tier credit. They want you to have good credit. Barclays partnered with Microsoft to create an Xbox credit card. And uh, the credit card looks very pretty. As you can see, it has multiple different designs, all that jazz. But the question is, if you are an Xbox fan, what do you get if you sign up for the Xbox credit card, which is a MasterCard for the record, and is it worth it? And that's what we are going to talk about today. So to begin, what do you get with the Xbox credit card? Well, the first feature you get is that you get five points on eligible products at Digital Microsoft Store and the Microsoft Store in general. You get three points for every dollar you spend on streaming services. You get a dollar spent on eligible delivery, i oh, sorry, three points for every dollar spent on eligible delivery services and one card point for everything else. And so that's pretty typical, obviously, um, as we've seen was like the PlayStation card and things like that. They're gonna give you the most points for using the card to buy purchases from their own ecosystem and all that jazz. And so it's that makes perfect sense. But I will say there are some confusing things about uh, the Microsoft Store and everything like that. So here's what you get with the um, when you use it at the Microsoft Store. You can use the Xbox MasterCard to get five points on computer software, consumer electronics, personal computers, and related services. This includes things like you know the Microsoft Store and Xbox, Microsoft Store, Xbox Design Lab, and if you buy. Um, interestingly, it says digital Microsoft Store consoles like the Series X and S and Xbox One. So basically, if you buy the hardware through Microsoft itself uh, and, of course, the Xbox app for Windows and the Microsoft Store app. So, you know, that's all pretty clear why you would go there. But there are a lot of exclusions here and they're really surprising. So let's talk about those. The exclusions include in-game transactions for game proprietary stores in Microsoft platforms like the Microsoft, like the Minecraft store, played on Minecraft or Xbox, in-game transactions for game proprietary stores and Microsoft platforms, the Xbox gear shop, apparently you don't get the five points, uh, the official Bethesda gear store, you don't get five times a point, third party real, and what that means is like if you buy an Xbox game through like a Target or Walmart or something, you won't get five times the points. And Microsoft commercial sites, Microsoft owned and operated digital stores, which primarily sell non-consumer goods and services for business related purposes like Microsoft advertising. Now, some of that sounds pretty cut and dry. What is most of this? Most of this is microtransactions. This is where it's a little weird. Now, I'm not saying I personally want to see this happen because I am very much against microtransactions. I do not like microtransactions. I think they're scams. I think they're gambling. But basically, if you get this Microsoft card and you buy microtransactions on the Xbox uh, with games on Xbox, you, you won't get five times the points for those microtransactions, which is odd because you would think that since that's where real money is, is with microtransactions, that they would give you five times the points, but I know that that's kind of a sensitive topic right now, and maybe they don't want to be perceived as encouraging people to buy uh, non-tangible goods or happy surprises, as EA calls them. I am a little surprised that you do not get five times points for like Bethesda's gear store or things like that, but it is what it is. Now, if you have streaming services, you will get three points on the following streaming services. 
Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Crunchyroll, Discovery Plus, which you do not need because it's rolled into Max, Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, Fubo TV, Hulu, Hulu and Live TV, Netflix, and it should be noted that uh, Max is not one of them, so take that for what it will. Netflix, Paramount Plus, Peacock, Philo, Showtime. Showtime is part of Paramount Plus. Folks, don't sign up for it. Sling TV, Stars, Voodoo, Willow TV, Wow Presents Plus, YouTube Premium, and YouTube TV. And there is more. If you like listening to music, you will get three times the points for the following services. Amazon Music Unlimited, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Quobuzz, SiriusXM, SoundCloud, Spotify, Tidal, and YouTube Music. Although I'm going to mention that if you get YouTube Premium, you will also get YouTube Music included in that. And uh, I'm not being paid to say this, but YouTube Premium is one of my favorites. Watch YouTube videos without the ads, support your creators, and you get a music service as well. Now then, if you like audiobooks, there's a few three-pointers there too. Uh, not as many, but there's a few. There's Audible, Kindle, and Kobo. Unfortunately, no Nook, which the Nook is the primary device that I use to listen to my audiobooks and read my ebooks. So obviously, the eBay, not the eBay, the Xbox MasterCard is not going to be very helpful in this regard. And finally, when it comes to the delivery services, you will get three times the points back for Caviar, Chow Now, Delivery.com, DoorDash, Goldbelly, Grubhub, Order Up, Postmates, Seamless, and Uber Eats, <laughs> my favorite Uber Eats. And then everything else, it's just a dollar. There's no grocery store, uh, there's no outdoor dining thing, and there's no gas options. Now, there is a sign-up bonus, but this is by far one of the most befuddling sign-up bonuses I have ever seen for a credit card. Most credit cards will give you like a one to $300 credit statement once you spend a certain amount of money on the card. You don't get that with the Xbox MasterCard. What you do get is three months of Xbox Ultimate Pass. That's their Game Pass and Xbox Live thing where you can download games. But here's the thing. If you already have the service, you do not get the three months. It's only for first time people. But what's more strange is that the Xbox credit card is not readily available to just anyone. You have to be an Xbox insider to be able to even sign up for the credit card. And if you are a Microsoft, or I should say Xbox insider, there's a very good chance you've already signed up for Xbox Ultimate Pass, which means the three months free that you get for being a first time Xbox Ultimate Pass person is useless. The reward does absolutely nothing for you. Now, what can you do with these points? Well, as you can probably figure out, the points will be used for Xbox experiences. So you can use it for Xbox digital games and things like that. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. If you are buying a lot of your Xbox games, phys uh, not physically, but digitally or through the Microsoft store, getting five times the points back mean that after you get several games, you can redeem your points and get a game for free. That is not bad, although it's also, again, a weird concept because Microsoft has been pushing the Xbox Game Pass uh, where you can just download as many games as you want. And while I think that subscription does get you the five times the points, it does show that Xbox users are much more likely to download their game as part of a service than to buy the game individually. Now, they do have customizable designs. I really like a lot of these designs. Like, if I signed up for this and I had to pick one, I, I don't know which one I'd pick. I'd either pick the purple one or that black and green one. Like, it, one of those would probably be really cool to me, but um, that's just uh, the design. Um, it doesn't mean much. Uh, otherwise, the card comes with no annual fee, the FICO score lookup, you know, all the standard stuff that credit cards come with. And again, it's a Bars Clay card. And Bars Clay is a prestigious um, credit card company. They have some very desirable cards out there, especially if you're a travel fan. I don't know if this is a great one because 
first of all, it doesn't really give you a great incentive to sign up for it since the vast majority of people who will want this particular card will not be eligible for the sign up bonus of the three months of Xbox Ultimate Pass. And here's the thing, if you're an Xbox fan who just does Xbox Game Pass, uh, well, yeah, you can use your card to pay for that, but that means the points to buy a game and stuff might not mean much to you. And the fact that it has so many exclusions in terms of stuff that you buy on the Xbox ecosystem and on the Xbox stores, I think this card is kind of a missed opportunity. Hopefully in a year or so, I could come back and do a follow-up review and say that it has gotten better. But for now, I think this one's not worth picking up. But you know what? I would love to know what you think. So do you have this card or do you want this card? Why? Comment below and flame responsibly. Have a good one. Hey, you made it to the end. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Just a few more things. First of all, the names that you see on the screen, these are our Patreon and YouTube member supporters. And I thank each and every one of them. Their support helps me make exclusive videos for Patreon and YouTube members, as well as keep the channel running. And of course, is just a huge kindness to me. Also, don't forget to check out the iCritic Led podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, Deezer, whatever podcasting service you listen to, it is there. We definitely want to see you there. And hey, there's also other videos that you can check out. So, you know, check out these other channels, these other videos, especially that one. I think that's a really good one. 